I just feel like this is such a fun outfit. One of my favorite things is happening this fall. I never thought that I would wear ballet flats again. Normally, by the time that we get to fall, people are done with bright colors like this. Hi, I'm Sam and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video I'm actually so excited for. I just tried on so many amazing outfits for fall. I'm going to be going over some of the biggest trends that I've been reading about, that I've been seeing on social media, and hopefully give you some really good inspo for when the weather starts to get a bit colder. So without further ado, let's get into it! was actually not excited for this video at all until today when I started trying on outfits and I am seriously so excited for fall now. One of the trends that has come back that I love is over the knee boots and one of the reasons why I'm so excited is because I have had these Stuart Wiseman boots in my closet for I think like seven or eight years. My ultimate favorite way to wear these over the knee boots has always been with a skirt or with a dress. And I think especially in early fall, like when it's not too chilly out, this is one of the best ways that you can style them. And then another thing that's being forecasted as a big trend for fall is kind of like big, bold statement pieces. So in this case, this puffer obviously is like pretty large and outlandish. I just feel like this is such a fun outfit. This outfit actually encompasses two of the trends that are supposed to be big this fall. One of those is head to toe leather, which I feel like we have seen a lot of already and hence this is all stuff that I already owned. Creating a little like suiting moment like this out of your leather, I feel like is something that we're going to see tons of. And the other trend is all about sparkly things. And again, this is something that we have been seeing. I feel like 2022, everybody's just wanted to like go out and party. And so sparkles, shimmer, sequins, they have been all over the place. The color silver is also trending as well. I also think having these black boots with it that are heeled and pointy just like extends the leg even longer. I'm not too sure what happened with this clip. I've never had something go out of focus like this, but here I'm just saying I'm really warm because I'm wearing head to toe knits, which is a big trend that is coming up for fall. I particularly love matching sets if you're trying to recreate this look. However, you can just work around it with the things that you already have in your closet and pick some knit colors that look nice together, which is exactly what I did here. This look might be a little bit more bold with the over the knee boots and the shorts but I do feel like this is another fun take on the knitted all over trend so with this I'm just wearing this knitted one piece from Zara with the rest of the outfit I've worn these over the knee boots just to kind of give a nice match to this leather bobber jacket that I'm wearing Bomber jackets are another big trend for fall, whether they are made out of leather or not. And so I think this outfit is kind of just like styling this onesie that I've worn for the past couple of years on and off in like a fun new way. One of my favorite things is happening this fall and that is just an evolution of some of the trends that we've been seeing in spring and summer moving on into the fall with like a slightly different iteration or a slightly different way of styling them. And this is so great because it means that the pieces you already have in your wardrobe, for instance, like a tennis skirt, are things that you can continue wearing and just putting with different outfits in a way that will make it look just as fresh as if you're adding something new into your wardrobe. For instance, with the tennis skirts, we were seeing a lot of them with collared shirts, but Generally, it was with like a crew neck sweater and something so, so preppy. Now, this fall, we're seeing kind of a combination of a preppy and a little bit more like 
dark or edgy or goth and we're also seeing preppy with y2k so it's kind of a fun way where you can go in whichever direction you feel like is more suited to your personal style and still look really trendy so in this case what i've done is just paired it with of course this faux leather blazer i've also paired this cropped sweater which actually is like cut and left at a raw edge along the bottom. Something else that's been popular is like a deconstructed kind of distressed like ripped up knitwear and of course the loafers they're still here loafers and socks I feel like you can't go wrong with loafers ever in fall because they're so preppy and back to school. Business wear and 90s minimalism are both in and this outfit I feel like encompasses them both. This shirt it is a very thin but like a nice long kind of cardigan style top. This I just got sent by Revolve and I'm in love with it. I feel like there's so many good ways to style it for fall. And these pants are kind of like a dupe for the Aritzia Effortless Pant. These are an old pair that I have from Zara from a couple of years ago. This is just like a really simple outfit that I'm going to be able to put together without even having to think about it this fall. Normally, by the time that we get to fall, people are done with bright colors like this after summer and it's time to move into the darker, more autumnal colors. But this year, that is not the case at all. Barbie pink and hot pink in general is still going strong. And I've even seen like trends lists that say all different types of bright colors are in this fall. So really, it seems like anything kind of goes. Specifically, if you're in a colder climate, this is a really good one because you can always just wear like tights or fleece lined leggings or whatever you want underneath skirts like this and no one's even going to be able to tell. One thing that I feel like I did see a lot of especially was this type of skirt paired with a little pointy toed boot like this and I do really like the way that it looks especially when you have this leather jacket as well to tie it in. Well, I do think a leather moto jacket is a classic and that it can't fully ever go out of style. I have been seeing them a lot less in the past couple of years and I've had this one for a long time and I've actually been wearing it quite a lot less, at least in like 2020-2021. So it's nice that it is coming back into fashion if you have one they're a very versatile piece. White tank tops are also something that is trending for fall 2022 and I kind of think that's funny. I mean they are really popular there's no doubt about it. I wear one pretty much every day but I feel like I have for years and so like a white shirt isn't really something new. This is the contour bodysuit from Aritzia it's one of my faves. I feel like these are so flattering on everybody and so this is another option if you're looking to like not show as much stomach and certainly on all of the like runway inspo pics that I saw it seemed like those tank tops were either tucked in or like almost meeting the tops of the pants. First of all from the bottom we have ballet flats which are coming back with the vengeance and then cargo pants which I'm sure you have all seen from spring and summer already. These have been everywhere and in a bunch of different colors and styles as well and then when it comes to my top here this whole like suiting business moment I've touched on in some of the other outfits but in particular I think like waistcoats are something that have been bubbling under the surface for a while and that we're just gonna keep seeing more and more and more of. I never thought that I would wear ballet flats again. I don't think I'll be wearing these all the time but I thought that they really calmed down such an intense pant by having them paired with this outfit. I'm sure you've all seen corsets everywhere for like I want to say the past year or so. They've really been very very popular and they're still here. In summer and spring you might have just been wearing them as a top. You could also now put them over something like a thin turtleneck like this one or even you can just like layer maybe a thin sweater, a button-up shirt underneath them. Feel like it's a good time to experiment with all of that and see what kind of outfits you can come up with. 
I hope this video has given you some good fall inspo on some things that you can pull from your own closet to make these trendy outfits for the upcoming season. Or if you're looking for a little bit of shopping inspo as well, maybe you found some new pieces that you're looking to add to your wardrobe. A lot of this stuff is a bit older, so some of it's not available anymore, but anything that is, I will link down in the description as I always do, and hopefully that helps if you're looking for anything that I was styling. If you've made it all the way here and you're not yet subscribed, I really hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. Generally, I post new videos every single Wednesday and I'm actually going to be starting to post a twice a week. I'm going to be doing one vlog a week and then one regular video like this that is more fashion and style or review focused. So all the things you're used to seeing from me will still be here just as often but for anyone who does like the vlog style content I'm really feeling inspired and having a lot of fun creating that right now so I'm going to be posting those videos once a week as well keep an eye out and with that I guess I will see you next week with a brand new video bye <laughs>